Kyle, you're a veteran. That's why you were brought in here. But yet, you're just one game away, one win away from making it to the Stanley Cup final. How does that make you feel? Oh, excited. You know, just just want to focus on the moment at hand, and um, you know, obviously a big one tonight. And never gotten this far in my career, but you just have to stay in the moment and and make sure that um, you know you're trying to consume the moment and and. You know, it's it's going to be a tough game. We're playing a tough team, but um, you know, I like the guys in our room. I like the way that we've been playing, and we just have to keep it rolling. What is it about these guys? Again, you've played with many different players over a thousand games. What is it about these guys that you're seeing as you were looking from the outside and now on the inside that makes them special? Well, it's interesting. We have a group that has a has very high expectations of ourselves, and you know what you're going to get going into the game from each player. You know, there there aren't very many. Um, low points where you know guys are struggling or you know have a few few bad weeks, few bad games. Um, a lot of veterans in there, a lot of guys that know how to play uh, just a solid game if they're not feeling it. And um, it's really a it, it's a team that is all on the same page all the time. You know, we uh, like I said, we know what's what's expected of us, and we expect a lot out of each other. So um, it's fun when you go in and, and the expectations are high. Haven't had a chance to have the one-on-one -on -one like this with you since you've been here. How long did it take for you to feel one of the guys and to be part of the group and to understand your role and how, what you were going to bring to the ice? That was an interesting one. Uh, you know, when I came here, I, I knew the role uh, coming in. I knew what the expectation was of me, um, but it still takes a few weeks. You know, I'm, I was used to, you know, being in Buffalo. I was there for eight years. I was pretty comfortable. Um, obviously, the, the, the captain of the team, a leader on the team, and, and there's so many little things when you come to a new team that you don't realize, you take for granted in your day-to-day -day routine, and you have to learn all those all those little things. So I, I did feel a bit like a young guy in those uh, aspects, just where to sit on the bus, where to sit on the plane, all those little things. But uh, as as I grew and as I just kind of put my head down and worked, I just started to see how the team ticked. and. Um, you know, the place that I could have in it and the role that I could have. And um, I was kind of in and out of the lineup, which is which was fine. I, I kind of knew that going in. But every time I got in there, I just tried to be myself and, and bring everything off the ice and in the locker room that, um, you know, I've, I've learned over the past 17 years. All right. And lastly, who's more excited, you or the kids that you that uh, daddy could be could be could be going to the Stanley Cup final with one more victory? Uh, it's pretty close. Um, <laughs> You know, my oldest son is—he's uh, eight years old, and he—he he really understands uh, understands the game, kind of understands the moment, and um, so it's it's a ton of fun for him, and it's great to see the kids uh, excited. Well, we look forward to uh, seeing them perhaps here. Good luck tonight. Thank you for joining us here in the pregame. Thanks, Billy.